Hello, welcome to another CKL crop farming production. My name is Francis Wario and I am the agronomist. Today I'd like to introduce to you a product we call Rhizophose. Rhizophose is a biofertilizer. This means it's a fertilizer, but it's composed of biological material. We've launched this product because we have realized many of our soils have degraded in terms of the biological activity. And this is why they have lost fertility, because the bacteria are no longer active. So Rhizophos actually reintroduces bacteria back into the soil, those bacteria that are active in breaking down organic material and releasing phosphorus and other minerals to be used by the plant. And therefore, without having to add too much of DAP and other chemical fertilizers, you find that your crop will still produce and maybe even produce more because you are releasing the minerals which are blocked, especially phosphorus, in the soil. And once they are unblocked, then they are able to be used by the crop. The active ingredient in rhizophos is a bacteria known as Pseudonymus fluorensis. This is a naturally occurring bacteria amongst many which are soil-borne and appear in the rhizosphere of the soil. Without having to add too much extra DAP, you find that you get as high production or even higher by 40% when using rhizophos. Rhizophos can also be used in cabbages, in carrots, in beetroots, and other crops. Rhizophos comes in two components. There is the rhizophos veggies, which contains the active bacteria, and there is Primax, which is a liquid formulation that helps to stimulate the rhizophos bacteria. Rhizophos is easy to use. You simply open the sachet and mix in water to the rate of 250 ml of rhizophos and Primax mix in 25 liters of water. Then you spray the rhizophos onto your potatoes already in the furrow just before covering with soil. It's used only once. You don't have to use it again. It's applied only to the soil. It's not applied as a foliar fertilizer. Its purpose is to regenerate the soil bacteria. For best results with rhizophos, remember, do not expose it to sunlight. Mix it under shade or during cloudy conditions. Remember also to check on the expiry date because this is a living organism which has a natural lifespan. Once you open the rhizophos container, then you must use it at that time. You cannot store it to use for another day. It's only good for 24 hours. Once your potatoes have germinated and emerged from the soil, then you can continue using harmony, which will help to boost the shoot growth and therefore will even maximize your production. So you can use Harmony at the rate of 40 milliliters per 20 liters of water. Once you have done that, you're only left with weed management. So to do this, we recommend do not use manual weeding with a hoe because you stand the risk of injuring your roots and therefore you will disrupt the growth of the plant. Rather, we recommend that you weed with amber, which is a herbicide, which controls broad-leaved weeds. Amber can be applied at the rate of 35 milliliters per 20 liters of water. Apply it between the rows, and this will control the broad-leaved weeds which are even germinating and those which have not germinated. You may also have to manage blight diseases, which may attack your potato plant. For this, we recommend you can use stage at an early stage mixed with harmony. This has good effect from around week three of growth. We welcome you to try Rhizophos and see the difference between organic biofertilizers and chemical fertilizers to the condition of your soil. And we believe that you will see a huge difference. Remember, always test your soils in a laboratory so that you can understand your soils.
to see what you need to add and what you may not need to add. We hope you have increased your knowledge of how you can manage your soils for the best production possible on your farm. Give us a call and let us know how you are doing on your potato farming or cabbage farming. We'd like to walk the journey with you to better production. From CKL Africa we say all the best and happy farming. Thanks for watching our videos. We hope you enjoyed them. Please like, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such informative videos.